So uh, the reaction uh, to the vote yesterday was very mixed. Some folks incredibly positive, some folks very negative. Those who are negative, I replied that this is a constitutional question, and clearly it had been established that it is constitutional, and the Constitution obviously becomes, it is Constitution and country over party. Uh, for some, they get it, and for others, they're not quite so sure, but that's to be expected. This does not predict my vote on anything else. It does predict that I will listen to these arguments as I did to the arguments yesterday with an open mind. I, I, I gotta run. I think in politics there is this punishment, it's called losing elections, and um, or it's called you know losing your bar license or whatever it might be in the case of like a Bill Clinton. There's plenty of, of penalty that comes with this mark, whether he is convicted or not. Whether in 2024, how I would feel about it, we'll see if he's a candidate in 2024, and more importantly, who his opponents might be, what other Republicans so might you're not want to run. Ruling it out that you would support him to be president again after what happened. I, it would be harder for me, given what's happened. I don't think there's any way that has got to be part of the what weighs on me, and what what anybody would have to measure. But I can assure you that just as sure as that would measure negatively for me, there's a whole bunch of people that feel the the opposite about it. And a lot of them are my constituents. Is conviction a vote of conscience? Certainly it is. I mean, I think you will see, and I don't think there's been any question, every senator is going to make this decision based on what they hear here, what they believe. And um, looking at the evidence, there's no pressure from anybody to, to do anything differently. So I think it's a matter of every individual's conscience. No pressure from McConnell? None whatsoever. None. Yeah, well, let's just say I hope they're going to do a better job of, of sticking to the point. Now, in defense of their, his lawyers, they've only had a few days to do this. That's not their fault. They've been through it now for a few hours. They've seen what the other side's capable of. I think they were grossly underestimated, um, the, the managers. And I think you know, Mr. Castro actually admitted that in his opening. I think it was a good, good catch on his part. I don't think they'll be surprised again. That's my hope.